have a special sign I happen to discover They hold three fingers in the air And flash it to each other They send their greetings to you They sing them and they shout But if you meet a pixie Please don't let their secret out But if you meet a pixie Please don't let their secret out But if you meet a pixie Please don't let their secret out The heart Where's my pack in that? It's not here either. I think my head's got a screw loose. Oh! Tom Thomas, why are you throwing your stuff around? Oh, because I got a real problem. What is it? I can't decide which club I should pick. Johnny signed up for robotics, and Katya's gonna be in chess. You call that a problem? Go with Johnny. And why not Katya? <laughs> They go with chess. But they don't have robots. My mom told me I should listen to my heart. Do you know how to do that? <laughs> I found it. See you. Gotta go. Nolik. Simka can tell you. She knows everything. The heart is the main pump of a living organism. It's a unique muscular organ with a multitude of blood vessels attached to it. The main function of the heart is to continuously move blood throughout the body. The human heart pumps about six liters of blood every minute, even though this pump is not that large. Make a fist. Your heart is about the same size as that. To make sure your heart stays healthy, you need to strengthen it with plenty of exercise and a healthy diet. Nolik, please come help me. Why me? Tool is stronger. Huh? Interesting. And do you know what is meant by the word heartlessness? Well, I think it's, uh, some kind of human illness. May I? Tula. Heartlessness is when a human or a fixie leaves someone who has a problem behind. Uh, uh, huh? I... Uh. <laughs> Thank you very much, young man. Uh, I mean, young Fixie. Heartlessness, does it last forever? Of course not. We just need to help one another more often. Uh huh. Uh, uh. Ah! Tom Thomas, my friend. Here I am. How are you? How am I? Why do you care? Oh, by the way, I found out how you can listen to your heart. You need this tube. It's called a... stethoscope? A stethoscope. But I don't have one. That's what I'm for. <laughs> the thing is way too tiny. Hmm. Ah, your mom must have one. Oh, yeah. Well? It's beating. Loudly. And what is it saying to you? Not a word. And now? It's beating. <laughs> huh? What was that? <laughs> this is just absurd. A heart can't talk. You know what? Why don't you just try again? Tom Thomas. <gasps> Who is that? It's your heart talking. Boom, boom. Can you hear me? Uh-huh. I believe that robotics is right for you. Uh... And what about chess? Who cares about chess? Robots are way cooler. This voice reminds me of someone. Heh, so that's what you look like, my itty bitty heart. Well, I did it from the bottom of my heart. When a human is at rest, his heart beats between 60 and 100 times per minute. This rhythm is called the pulse rate. Place two fingers on your wrist or your neck. Can you hear it? Boom, 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 boom. You can count the beats. When you're sleeping, your pulse slows down. But when you get excited, run, or get worried or afraid, your heart begins to beat faster and pumps the blood harder. 
Sometimes it feels like it's beating so fast that people say, oh, my heart is going to jump out of my chest. But don't be afraid, it's not going anywhere. And when people say, listen to your heart, they don't mean that your heart can talk. It means that you should trust yourself and listen to your feelings. And then you'll definitely find the answer you're looking for. Looks like at the end of the day, I'm heartless. I couldn't help my friend at all. No, Lick. But you helped. You really did. I finally figured out which club I want to join. Robotics, like I told you? Not that. I want to learn medicine. The catapult. isn't here. There's no way these toy soldiers could have shot it themselves. Now that was a good shot. It wasn't real long and not high either. And off target. It was pretty awful. It was good, but awful. I got it. So what do we do? We need to raise it up a little higher. Hey, fire, Nolik. Why in the world would you shoot at a fixie? Fixies? They're supposed to be in school right now. Actually, I'm on my way to school. How about you, Fire? Why aren't you in class? Because there it's totally boring. But here, look at what a cool shooter we found. Ha! <laughs> what did you call it? You've got no idea what this is. It's called a catapult, guys. A cat with gold eyes? <laughs> it isn't a cat with gold eyes. It's a catapult, guys. <laughs> Catapults are ancient propulsion machines. They were used to shoot stones, heavy arrows, or barrels with burning tar. The main part of the catapult is a special piece of rope. It is twisted very, very tightly like a spring. The rope is then wrapped around a big spoon. And then, if you pull the spoon back, put a stone in it, and let it go, the catapult fires a shot. Ooh, and the stone flies far, far away. Uh-huh. All right, so here we go. Ha! Ugh, came up short. What do you mean short? What are you aiming at? You'll see. The spoon needs to go further back. Just a little. Guys, you're gonna break the glass. <laughs> no, like, now push. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yes, right on target. Now let's fly out into space. Wait, what space? What kind of flying? Who's gonna fly? I'm gonna fly! Ha-ha! <laughs> right out the window! Right up to the moon! First fixin' onto the world, Nolik! Are you ready for your flight into space? Yes, sir! Nolik, get out of the spoon now! I'll be the first fixie on the moon! Yeah! Nolik, enough of this! What kind of joke is this? It's not a joke at all! He's gonna fly into space! And how come it's not you? Because he's lighter! Hold on! Humans didn't go straight into space themselves. They sent dogs out there first. Nah. Chusaka's not gonna fit in here. Simka, why don't you go and let us finish? Fine, I will go. But only after Nolik finds himself a helmet. Hmm, you're right about that. I'll go find a helmet. The catapult was invented in ancient times. But people still use them today. Only now, instead of launching stones, catapults are used to launch jet airplanes. You see, the runway on an aircraft carrier is quite short, so catapults are used to help the planes move fast enough to take off. Catapults can also be used to save the life of a pilot. When an airplane has an accident, a catapult activates in the cabin. The pilot is shot into the sky and comes back to the ground with a parachute. A plain old slingshot is also a kind of catapult. It's just a very little one. But be careful with this toy. It can be dangerous to others and to you, too. As for us fixies, the only time that we use catapults is on a peaceful mission. Pabus, hurry! Our Nolik's getting shot to the moon with a catapult! What? And if I meet new fixies up there, 
What should I say to them? Hi there. And you can ask them to launch you back. So, let's do it! Fire! Launch it! Stop! Don't! Simka! Nolik! I'm not getting out! Just a bit short. It's not our fault. You're just heavier than Nolik, and that's why you came up short. Papus, maybe we can try one more time. What? <sighs> the thermometer. I can't believe the new thermometer isn't working. Tom Thomas, stay in bed. And I'll try and look for that old mercury thermometer. Hey, did you get sick? That's one way of saying it. I don't know how I'm gonna pass that math test today. You're not ready, so you don't want to go to school. Well, yeah. So if you pull a sickie, then you can trick your mom. No, that's not true. I'm just pretending a little bit. You think so? Well, you won't trick the thermometer. Simka, what's a mercury thermometer? Mercury is a type of liquid metal that's silver in color. There's no mercury inside of new thermometers. Now they're electronic. Old thermometers were made with a glass tube with markings and a bit of mercury inside them. When the end of the tube warms up, the mercury inside of it expands and creeps up the tube. And that's how those old thermometers measure temperature. The longer the column of mercury, the higher the person's temperature is. That means I need to warm up the end of the thermometer. Tom Thomas, you're a genius. But how will you warm it up? Finally, I found it. Well, let's see. Mom, can I eat something? <coughs> Hang in there, sweetie. I'll make you something. Ooh, that is hot. Now there's just no way it won't have a temperature. Hey, what are you doing in here? Well, how high did you get it? 108 is what it's showing. Oh, no. With a temperature that high, they'll send you straight to the hospital. And you don't need that. You'd better shake that thermometer. Yeah, that's what I'll do. That'll get the temperature down a little. Ah! Well, so much for that. Cheaters never prosper. Tom Thomas, did you see this? Nola, don't touch the mercury. It's poisonous. Stop it right now. And you, Tom Thomas, you don't touch that mercury either. It's dangerous. Then how can we throw it out? Call your mom and she can help you. I can't. How could I call her? Then she'd find out that I wanted to trick her. Maybe it's better to tell the truth. I can't. I can't do it. All right, then. It looks like there's no other choice. Nolik, call Papus and Masia. I'll get him. And you go back to your room and wait. like this whole job is done. Not yet. We still need to neutralize this mercury. In everybody's home, there's all sorts of chemicals around. They are used for cleaning dishes, clothes, the bathroom, and dealing with pests. And all of these substances can be very harmful to human health. But some people don't seem to understand this. They might use a dangerous spray or a poisonous liquid and then forget to wash their hands afterward. And then they go and eat or rub their eyes with their hands. That can cause serious damage to their vision or stomachs. Ah. 
and never put anything into your mouth that looks like medicine, unless your parents or a doctor gave it to you. And if you ever happen to find something on the ground that looks like a piece of candy, you must never put it in your mouth. You can get poisoned that way. Oh, humans. If they'd only remember this simple advice, they'd stay safer. And what do we do with the glass that's broken? That job's not for fixies. Hmm. Tom Thomas, we cleaned up all the mercury. And the glass, too? No, not the broken glass. But will you? Papu said that it's not our job. He told us you have to get your parents to come and help you. That part's your responsibility. Here's some food for you. What's the matter? Hmm? Mom, I... I broke the thermometer. Broke it? Did you cut yourself? No. The mercury, did you touch it? I didn't. Simka, you think you'll tell her the truth? And where did you break it? The bathroom. Why did you go in there? I wanted... I wanted to trick you. I have a test, and I didn't study for it. And now it's too late for school, hmm?